Oh, this is a blast. Oh, hey boys and girls, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm just, you know, flying around like a superhero. Oh, wow. Who's your favorite superhero, by the way? Uh, in our house, you know who we love? We love Hulk and Captain America and Superman, obviously. But who's your favorite superhero? All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, today we're going to talk about uh, a, a superhero. And as we read the story, you might not think of this person as a superhero, but um, they're, they're definitely a superhero. Um, and I'll talk to you why they're superheroes. So let's go ahead and uh, let's read that story and then um, you can fly back with me and we'll talk about the story. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Bye. The search was on for a new queen for King Xerxes of Persia. All the pretty young women were ordered to come to his palace. Esther didn't want to go, but she had no choice. Her cousin Mordecai warned her, don't tell anyone you're a Jew. You might be harmed if they find out. Beautiful Esther obeyed. When she was presented to the king, he fell madly in love. King Xerxes quickly made Esther his queen. But Haman, the king's right-hand man, was growing more powerful. He convinced the king to sign a law that made all the people bow down to Haman. Oh, how Haman loved that rule. Everywhere he went, people knelt down to honor him. But one day, Mordecai did not bow down to Haman. Mordecai believed it was wrong to show honor to anyone but God. This made Haman very angry. He knew that Mordecai was a Jew, so he convinced King Xerxes to kill all the Jews. When Mordecai learned of the plan, he ran to Esther. You must talk the king into changing his plan. Esther wasn't sure she could find the courage to argue against powerful Haman. And what would the king do when he learned she was a Jew? Would she be in danger? Then Mordecai spoke from his heart. God may have planned your life just for this moment. You are the only hope for your people. Whoa. Esther knew what she had to do. She invited the king and Haman to a special banquet. King Xerxes was so pleased, he asked her, What do you want, Esther? I'll do anything you ask. Esther said, I want you to save my life. The king didn't understand, but said, of course I will save your life. Then Esther explained Haman's plot to kill the nation of Jews. Angry at Haman's sly trick, the king ordered him killed. The queen had found her courage, and God's people were saved. Oh, boy, I love that story. It's a story of a superhero. What do you mean? You don't see how it's a story of a superhero? Wow. Well, let, let me explain. You see, um, Esther, she didn't have any magical powers or, you know, she didn't have this incredible gift of flying like me or the incredible gift of, um, you know, shooting webs from her hand like Spider-Man or, you know, super strength like Hulk or, you know, any of those kind of superhero strengths or incredible gifts. Um, but she did do something amazing. And she was a superhero. You see, she was in the palace, which um, doesn't seem like another, you know, it doesn't seem like an incredible strength either, but she was in the palace and uh, she was the queen. And God put her there at the perfect time. Because when she was queen, there was this plot that happened. Somebody was going to try and kill God's people. And that's not a good thing. But no one else could have done anything. And in fact, Esther's cousin knew that. And so he sent something to his cousin. He sent something to Esther. And he said, Esther, you need to be courageous. You need to stand up. You need to be a superhero. He said, who knows? Maybe this is the very reason why God put you there. And he was right. God put Esther in the palace to be the queen at just the right time. You know, one of the things that make superheroes so special 
Yes, they have superpowers and they have the incredible gifts that are different from other people, but the thing that makes them so special is that they're strong and they're courageous. And that was Esther. She was courageous. Because you see, if she went to the king and he didn't like what she had to say, he would have killed her too. But she stood up. She stood up like Superman and like Batman and Spider-Man and all those other superheroes that we love so much. She stood up and she said, I'm going to tell him what's right. And I'm going to be the kind of person that God wants me to be. You know, boys and girls, you have courage too. And God places you right where you're at to be strong and to be courageous. And no, you can't fly as, long, as far as I know. You don't have spider webs coming out of your hands. But God gives you some really great gifts. He makes you unique. He gives you the, the special tools that only you have to care for the people around you, to love the people around you, to be a superhero. I want you to talk about two things. I want you to think of maybe some of the unique gifts that God has given you. What are some things that make you special? And then the other question is, how can you be courageous? How can you be courageous today? How can you care for and love and be there for the people around you today? And we'll be back. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope that discussion was good. Um, and, uh, you know, one other thing that's important to mention is um, the fact that we, we love superheroes, but we have the greatest superhero of all, and that's Jesus. And he does have this incredible gift, and he does step in when we need him the most. He saves us. He rescues us. He's our superhero. Let's go ahead and go to him in prayer. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that um, you place us in the perfect places in the world, in our families, in our communities, in our churches, with our friends at school, and you tell us to be courageous. So Lord, help us to use our gifts, the unique way that you've made us to care for the people around us, to love them. And most especially, we thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to be our superhero, to rescue us, to save us. And it's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, it was so good to spend this time with you once again. We'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye. Hey, everyone. We hope that you enjoyed another exciting week in the story. And if you're enjoying these YouTube videos, here are a couple things we'd like to ask you to do. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure to like the video, to subscribe to our channel for continued more content um, as we put things out related to the story and other things that we have on the channel. And make sure to share the video as well. Absolutely. All right. Enjoy your week. Have a good see week. ya.